Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Strategy Now at MarketStream.Live. My name is Joseph Kizik with the Kizik Group Securities Offered by Money Block. So where I want to dig into a strategy that I call the Condor. Now, for those of you that are bird enthusiasts, know this is not about birds. This is actually about a yield-based strategy. What do I mean? You're going to sell options, um, but we're going to sell options with a defined risk. We want to have a probability of getting a 50% profit target around 70%. That's basically going to be about a 50% uh, total probability of profit. And we want to do it with a fixed risk type of opportunity. For those of you that are new, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a trade. Now this is a week, a monthly, a monthly chart. Basically the S&P 500 or the spiders, which is the ETF that tracks the S&P 500, have been in a range for the last almost now two and a half months between 2.30 and two, basically two, let's see, what's this high right here? 2.40. So we have a 10 point range for the last almost three months. Let's just put it into context here, right? Since the basically the beginning of 2017 to current date. Now, yes, we're challenging the upside a little bit. You see the markets are down a little bit and the spiders are down about seven cents. So it's basically flat. But I wanted to show you how you could actually deploy a strategy. We have fixed risk, fixed rate of return, and it's very straightforward. How do we do it? Well, first of all, I'm going to look in the expiration month of June. If you're new to options, basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be selling options with the June 16th expiration. So that's basically about 38, 36 days left to expiration. Um, I am going to be selling a put option and I'm going to be selling a call option. Now the proximity of the strike prices I'm going to be selling, in other words, the, the location of the strikes I'm going to sell are basically going to be at what I call a 28 delta. What's delta? That's just the gauge, a barometer of how much an option price will change with a one point change in the underlying. So right now with the spiders trading at 239, I'm going to sell the 235 puts. And I'm going to do that just once. Let's click this. I'm sorry. I should say create my own. My bad. Um, so I'll scroll down, do the Junes. And I'm going to do more. So all you're seeing is that I'm expanding now the total number of strikes. And what I'm trying to do is say, all right, I'm willing to put up, let's say, about $300 worth of risk. And on that $300 of risk, I would like to make maybe $75 to $150 of potential profit, right? Somewhere between a 10 to 20 plus percent return on the risk capital over the next 28 or 38 days. Um, so I'm going to sell the 235 puts. I click that twice. Now remember, I wanted to have fixed risk. So if I'm selling an option, I'm basically taking on the obligation of delivering short stock in this case. So if I collect $1.50 or $153 per contract, I'm gonna buy a protective option. And in this case, I'm gonna buy the $230 puts for 80 cents. So now my total credit right now is around 70 cents. Now I'm also going to sell the out of the money calls. And I'm gonna sell the $243 calls. Why? They have about a 31 delta. So that's telling me that if the option, if the stock goes up a point, these options will increase or decrease by 31 cents. It also is telling me that this option only has a 31% probability of being in the money at expiration. All right, so I wanted a fixed risk, fixed rate of return, a potentially high probability of success, which right now this is telling me that seven times out of 10 with the current market conditions that we have, this option will go out worthless. So I'm selling it. I receive $1.14. Now, of course, I don't wanna have unlimited risk um, or take on the obligation of selling that option. So I'm gonna buy <clears throat> the 248 calls and I'll pay 27 cents. So net net, what am I doing here? Basically what I'm doing is, is I'm going to um, sell one 235 put. I'm gonna buy one 230 put. I'm going to sell one two, 243 call, 
and I'm going to buy 1248 call. Basically, what I'm doing is, is I want this, the underlying spiders, SPY, to stay between 235 and 243. That's ultimately where I want the market to stay. And as you can see from this graph, and currently it's trading at a 157. I could sell this for a limit price of $1.57. In other words, that's my credit. Now, is that my risk? No, that's my profit. I know that if the underlying stays between 230 and, excuse me, 235 and 243 between now and June expiration, which is in the next 36 days, I'm gonna make $157. My risk is the difference between the strike price, five, minus 150. So that's basically $343. So you can see I'm gonna make $150 return on $343 of risk. It's a pretty nice rate of return. Now, one thing that I will note is, is that I will cover this position if I get 50% of the total credit received under my belt. So in other words, when this spread is trading at, or if this spread is trading at 75 cents, I will cover it and buy to close. So again, recap the trade. I'm selling an out of the money put. I'm selling an out of the money call. I'm buying some wings, that's why we call it a condor, that are going to cap my potential risk if the market starts to get directionally biased either up or down, okay? And you can see that my maximum risk is gonna be the difference between the strike prices minus the premium I receive. So that's where we got the $343. It's very straightforward, especially when you're looking at a market where it's been neutral and there while the bias might be overall trending to the upside, or in other words, bullish, we've had a very difficult time getting or catalyzing over that 240 mark, specifically on the spiders. So I'll work this order right now. It's trading at $1.56. If it comes up to my limit price, uh, I will um, go in and I will uh, actually trade this uh, and manage it accordingly. All right, folks, that's it for strategy now. This is the Condor on May 8th, 2017. Join me at 3.30, Central time, 3.30 Eastern Time, 2.30 Central Time. I'm going to be doing um, Tech Talk, where I'm going to break down some big market moves that could be coming up on the forefront using charting analysis as well as option analysis. Give you some transparency. Wouldn't you, wonder, wouldn't you like to know what the range is for Apple, uh, for Priceline, Google, uh, General Motors, Ford? We're going to be talking about all of that on Tech Talk in just a couple hours. So join us here at MarketStream.Live. See you then.